Hey, how's it going? My name's Chris. I'm from Team E Poseidon, and I represent ePoseidon.com. It's an online fishing store, and uh, it's got a lot of cool stuff on it. You should check it out. It's www.eposeidon.com. Today, I'm here to give you a how to video on fall bass fishing. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the equipment you need, kind of the baits that you could use, or colors and variations. And I'm going to discuss tactics. I'm going to tell you a little bit of knowledge about bass themselves. And then I'm going to conclude with, uh, with uh, everything, pretty much covering everything that I've taught you today. So this, is, this video is not for the advanced anglers. Um, most, most advanced anglers already know so much about fishing. I've been fishing a very, very long time, and I know a lot. And I probably... I'm just like a book of fishing, I think. And uh, the funny thing is like, you know, wherever I fish, I don't just jump in the boat or I jump in a kayak or anything like that. I just, I literally analyze the lake first. Um, when you go to a lake, you wanna look around if there's bushes in the water, cover, a dock somewhere, if there's trash everywhere, things like that, you know? You just wanna check out your environment when you get there. So. What I'm going to start with is I'm going to show you the rod, the reel, the line, and then the bait choices and the variations that I personally use. Like today alone, I caught over 20 bass at this new new lake that I went to, and it was amazing. I got a new personal best of uh, 20 inches and 5 pounds, and I, I've been fishing in Europe for the last seven years so there's no bass where I was living there and it's pretty cool to get back into bass fishing here again after being gone so long but uh, I can tell you that today was like the top the best experience I've ever had with bass fishing um, first off I'm gonna introduce you to this setup I have here this is my go-to setup that I'm using currently um, that handled these fish today like you wouldn't believe. Um, right here, this is a seven foot Cast King Perigee rod. It's medium heavy action. I'll show you the rod itself a little bit. Uh, you can see the name and everything right there. And then on the side, it's got little cool drop shot markings. But uh, also, this is the Cast King Blade 5000 reel. It is a really good reel, and I've been pushing it to the limits with catfish, with bass, with everything. And today I did the bass. And uh, I mean, listen to this thing. It's, it's beautiful. Just, woo, sexy. <laughs> anyway, so I've got spooled on 20 pound uh, Cast King Super Power Braid, which is also on the website. You can go check that out. The braid is amazing. Uh, I use 20 pound braid because I fish thick cover and I fish it all the time. So if I see a tree in the water, I try to get under the tree. You know, like never limit yourself on fishing. You see a snag, go get the snags. Fish the snags because that's where the big ones are. Anyway, so I'm going to move on now to the bait choices that I use. Um, today I used this bait choice right here. It's a spinner bait that's white. It's got a gold blade on the bottom, a chrome one on top. It's white peppery chartreuse color. This caught all the bass today. I had to go buy a new one because it tore me up today. Tore my baits up, tore my thumb. I was dead tired after I was fishing. It was, it was a great day. Um, that's the go-to bait for today. So the other baits that I choose in the color styles are, okay, this is a good example right here. Now, if you take this one, this is yellow. You want to use this on a warmer day in shallow water because the bass are going to move into those shallow waters to feed while they're getting warm. That one, so, and this one, cold water, slow retrieve, run it deeper, try to find cover and run it around cover. You'll probably end up with some good results. Warm water, cold water. Woo! Almost lost it there. <laughs> anyway, back to the video. Uh, so, um, the buzz bait in warm water, this is another warm water bait. I replaced the blades on the end right, right here to uh, 
cause more ruckus in the water. I like violent strikes from the bass, so I try to trigger them as much as possible in warm water. In cold water, I do finesse fishing. Now, this is another one made by another brand that it's, uh, but it works really well. And it just seems like those big blades cause them to disturb the bass and they just want to feed. Now you have to understand, during fall season, the bass are triggered by the cold weather and the lowering temperatures of the water to feed so they can bulk up and survive the winter. Now, if you use big baits, big spinner baits, these are all 3 8 ounce spinner baits if you wanted a, a, a reference to what you should buy at, at the store. Uh, 3 8 ounce seems to do the job for me. You can, also, you can run it deep and you can also flutter it on the top of the water in warmer conditions so it mimics kind of a panicky bait fish. Now, let me, t let me tell you about bass. Okay, bass have a lateral line on the side of their body. So when you're taking, for example, this spinner bait, and you're whipping that in the water, violent, violent, or quick jerks and uh, all kinds of different tactics that you might want to try, when that vibration passes over that bass's lateral line, it's going to piss it off and it's going to attack your bait. That's why these baits work so well in winter, because they're looking to feed, they're looking to ambush, and they want to just eat, eat everything in sight. Today, everything in sight ate the spinner bait, so I can't tell you that I failed today. And I got a new personal best. It was a 20 inch bass, big female, and she was five pounds. And that was my new personal best, but every day that I fish, I get a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. So um, pretty soon here, you're gonna see some more videos of big fish. Um, what else should I cover here? You know, when you're fishing, just make sure you're out there being safe. If you look around and you see trash on the ground, pick it up, you know. Try to help the environment around you as well. And it all adds to the fish safety, fish production. You know, keeping that nice, populated lake the way it should be. Um, I can't praise enough about how you should uh, respect the environment, respect the fish. Um, understand some people can be hungry. They'll keep catfish, they'll keep crappie, bluegill, etc. Um, but like for the more predatorial fish, I'm more of a for fun angler. So I like to go after trophies and when I do catch big fish, I let them go so somebody else can enjoy them one day. Um, I hope that this video aided and gave you knowledge about fall fishing for bass, targeting them, color choices and tactics. Um, so look forward to more videos from me. Also I'll be doing how to's on uh, rig setups and several, several um, subjects coming soon. So please like and share and uh, from Team E Poseidon, my name is Chris again. And thank you for watching. And go check out eposeidon.com, people. It's a great store, great prices, and uh, it's for those who rule the water. So take care and tight lines.